girls, it's Tuesday. Well, actually, it's Wednesday, which means it's my birthday. <laughs> which means I'm 23 now. I'm even older. Yay. <laughs> Um, so this week's theme was, uh, what's your favourite memory of the Harry Potter, reading the Harry Potter books? Um, and I've kind of got three answers, but my main one is, um, car, <laughs> is the very first time I read, um, uh, Philosopher's Stone. I were, we were living in Sydney and we were just about to move to New Zealand, so all our house had been packed up and everything was packed up. And we were just, um... Me and my sister were sharing a room, sleeping on the floor on mattresses because all the beds had been taken apart. And I just remember that really vividly because I never heard of the books before, so I read them without any expectations of what they should be. And it was really nice. It was sort of you. I think everybody has that dream that there's something a little bit more than what they see. You know, that magic exists and and that suddenly something will change and this big opportunity will come to you. And reading a book like that was amazing, and it was unlike anything I'd read before, and I don't think I'm ever going to read anything like it again. So, it was just, it was more the feeling of meeting it that made me feel really great. Um, the next one would probably be walking to school with, pretty much with my nose in the book. Um, I had a little bit of a gap above the book where I could see the footpath in my vision, so I wouldn't trip over or walk onto the road or anything silly like that, but... I literally walked all the way to school reading her, um, it would be Goblet of Fire, yeah, it would have been Goblet of Fire, because, um, that's the one with, of my books has all the corners crinkled, because I kept it in my bag for school, um, and the third one would have to be, um, before they changed the library at school, they used to have this little alcove, which was, it was really dark, and it had all the comfy seats, and it was kind of like a little cave, and it was so awesome, because you, you, could, you felt like you were hidden away when you're reading, and you could really immerse yourself in the story, so that's, those are my three favourite memories. Um, I actually got a question this week, my first question, yay! Um, so, my question is, Team Zombie or Team Unicorn? And I'm going to go with the girly answer of Team Unicorn, <laughs> um, if for no other reason than you know, I'd rather rainbows and sparkles than um, <laughs> decaying flesh and eating brains. But, you know, that's just me. I have nothing against zombies, but I'm more of a unicorn girl myself. Um, and now I'm outside today, outside my house, because it's lovely weather and I'm having a really great day, which is good because it's my birthday. Um, I haven't been doing much. Um, woke up late to the s and then woke up to the sound of a tui in the tree just up there. I've got, I'll put some video on my personal channel, channel of it because it's really cool. Um, and then I read a little bit of fan fiction, and then I got up because I remembered it was rubbish day, but I was too late because I wish I could already been, so that's not so good, but that's okay. And then I sat and watched some TV, and I watched um, one of my favourite programs on Discovery, which is Most Evil. Um, it's kind of weird. I don't usually like crime shows, but I really like Most Evil because it deals in the sort of rating of evil of serial killers and stuff, which is really morbid and macabre a little bit, but I always think it's interesting more the psychology of it, what sort of makes people the way they are, and I've always liked that, so I find it an interesting show, and I got to watch one of my favourite episodes, um, and I've had a really good day, and tonight we're going to a German restaurant, which is just up the road, and it's really yummy, I'm going with my parents and with Glenn, and it's going to be good. So, I haven't got any presents yet, but I am getting a new chest of drawers for my parents, and that's arriving tomorrow, and it's going to be called Albi. So I'm really happy. <laughs> that's the downside to doing this outside, is people can walk past and you look silly. Um, okay, uh, now question time. So my question this week will be, what is a either a TV show or a TV channel that's kind of a guilty pleasure? You know, other people think it's kind of strange that you're into it, even though you really like and you're a little bit embarrassed, but you really like it. And that question is going to... Two! So that goes to... Can you see it? It's somewhere around there. Anyway, goes to two, which is Sarah. So that's your question, Sarah. It's been really cool seeing what's in everybody's bag this, um, this last week. Um, lots of books, which is always good. Um, and I think that's about it. So I will see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye!